Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the upcoming release, Bionic Dues. This game's going to hit Steam on October 8th, and it comes to us from Arkin Games. You might remember Arkin as the creators of A Valley Without Wind and the AI War Fleet Command series with all of its expansions, as well as several other fantastic games. Bionic Dues is their latest release, and it is described by Arkin as a tactical turn-based roguelite. And after about three hours with this game, I will say those are exactly the right descriptors for what this game is, because it is all of those things. So what sets it apart from the crowd? Well. Exos, or mechs. It's very much in the vein of many of the revival games that have come out lately, these uh, old-school turn-based roguelike revival games. For instance, Dungeons of Dreadmore or Hack Slash Loot, but it is set in the far-flung future where there is only war. And you get to play as mechs, and that's really cool. So this is a pre-release version. It is a release candidate, so it's pretty much complete. Uh, they were missing some music, a lot of that seems to have been filled in. I mean, it's pretty much the game that you would play at release. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. I have a couple of saves that I'm working my way through. Not going to show you those, not because there are spoilers, but because uh, I don't want to mess up my save games. Yeah. So here we go. I'm going to play it on easy because, well, I'm talking and playing and who knows. I, just, I don't want to get embarrassingly killed. So every time you start a new game, you're going to get to select from a series of six mechs. You're going to choose four of the six, as well as a pilot. So let's go ahead and hit the uh, mech variety here. You've got the Assault, Well-Rounded, the Siege, Big, Heavy, Long Range, Missiles. He's going to annihilate things from a distance. The Sniper, Ultra Long Range. To get a good scouting abilities, really. Use more for that than anything else and the science who can hack terminals and all sorts of cool computery stuff the ones that i don't currently use the ninja who has additional stealth as well as i believe by default the virus ability which allows him to take over control of an enemy bot pretty pretty neat i've used it in several circumstances i do have the ninja in one of my save games and I found it really cool to turn one of the uh, enemy bots on its own team. And then the brawler, uh, short range. Yeah, if the enemy gets in range for the brawler to be effective, I'm probably dead anyway. So I haven't had much success as the brawler. I like this lineup quite a bit, so I'm going to stick with this lineup. In terms of pilots, they all have their own special abilities, so you'll want to kind of get a feel for what you like. So far, I really like Meg who basically just gets better stuff. Her loot is just better. If she picks up a Mark IV part, it'll have the stats of a Mark VI part, so she can kind of ramp up really quickly. Uh, I believe Genji, yeah, all of his mechs are just better. Great. <laughs> Emma gets better shop stuff, uh, makes more off of what she sells, gets better uh, stuff in the shop. And uh, I like Ray. And I'm going to use Ray. Ray basically gets two extra mans. The first two mechs you lose, uh, first two exos you lose in any given encounter, they're just going to come back. And that's really good for a scrub like me. So we're going to go ahead and choose Ray and my comfortable lineup of Assault Siege Sniper and Science. Here we go. This is Bionic Dues. This is the overworld map. You'll get used to seeing this. This is your HQ here in the center. This HQ is where your pilot resides, in this case, Ray. All of your exos are deployed from this main position, and this will be the site of the final battle where the robot army moves in and tries to wipe you out. Uh, luckily, they sent us a lovely little card that said, Dear humans, in 50 days, we're going to be coming to annihilate you. So we know we have 50 days until the final battle. This is the robot army that will come and destroy us, this robot army will grow over time unless we do something about that. So this is the current state of the robot army. This is the current state of my army. My mechs, excuse me, exos, and the store. Here's my pilot. Here's the health of my HQ. Each time you uh, lose a mission, you're going to lose a health on your HQ. It's just basically retries, continues, whatever. And uh, when you lose all those, well, that's the failure state. So you've got this 50-day showdown. You gotta do something, right? 
So what are you gonna do? Well, you can engage in missions that can either strengthen you or weaken the inevitable crush of the robot army. So you pretty much kind of build your own strategy. What do you wanna do? How do you wanna do it? So we're gonna start with a series of missions. Each mission is going to take a single day to actually complete. So head to a mission, spend a day off of your 50 days and try to get better or try to make them worse. We'll start out here by going into the customization because we do start with some items. Quick look at the inventory here. You're gonna get random items each time you start. So we have overcharge, auxiliary energy cell, power plus. Okay, that was a point where I wasn't really speaking English. I was speaking some sort of gibberish where I'm half reading the words that are on the screen. So to keep it simple, I'm just gonna quickly add a couple of things to one of my mechs here. Uh, exos, they're called exos. Get the branding right, will you? All right, so here we go. This is a an emitter matrix. This item can either go in a weapon slot or a shield slot. And what is it gonna do for me? So I can get additional regen on my shields. You're, I'm looking on the right upper hand, uh, upper right hand, right upper hand corner. The upper right hand corner here, it's gonna drain 10 of my available power. Just think about power as encumbrance or something like that. I don't know, it just, you have 100 power and that determines how many upgrades you can add. Each upgrade is gonna take a different amount of power. In my experience, the better the upgrade, the more power it's gonna take. So if I put this on my EXO in the weapon slot, I'm gonna get 13 regen and I'm gonna get, uh, on the weapon itself an additional 10% attack power which will take me up to 330. It seems alright. So what do we have here? A power amplifier. It consumes 10 power plus 10 attack and plus 12 to all propulsion related systems. It seems like a thing I'd probably want to put into my propulsion, huh? Alright, so here we go. Just for time's sake, let's put that in there and let's just kind of move on. General overcharge or power amplifier. Well, I don't want to make this one. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. I don't want to make my assault mech uh, so far and away better. Let's see here. What can we do? So we can increase our range. This is already, this is my sniper rifle. So this is already a crazy long range weapon. And ammo. So there's only 18 ammo for my extremely powerful sniper rifle. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this and bring along three additional shots for my gun and that's pretty much it you're going to add additional things here uh, different things again will slot into different places you can see for instance this one down in the uh in the lower right hand corner fits in weapons propulsion shields computers reactors you're going to get different effects based on where you're slotting it so if we look at that one in particular it's going to show you here if you put it in the reactor slot you're going to get plus 12 total power generation shields will give you 25 shields etc etc you can read it on your screen for yourself so there's a lot of strategy here. Where do I want to put this part? How am I going to configure my mech? Do I have enough power? Should I put some slots in here that are going to provide me with additional power? There's a lot of sort of meta that can go on here in terms of filling out your mech and getting them exactly right. We're not going to go into all that. We're going to jump into the game right now. So we want to endeavor again to reduce this army or bolster our own. So let's pick ourselves a mission. Overdrive. It would be your run-of-the-mill mission, except for the loose power emitters nearby. All the attacks from all exos and bots are increased by 10. Wow, okay. Right, well, let's go ahead and do this. This could be gloriously wonderful or gloriously horrible. So this is a, again, it is a turn-based tactical roguelike. So that means that, uh, yeah, here we are. We are going to take turns, we're going to fight, we're going to kill. Let's start moving in here. Everything again, as you might expect, with a roguelike, generated, all random. We're going to move down our hallway here. These are mines. We can zoom in, you know, get a good look here. I like the art style. Looking great, crisp. Everything looks nice. Overhead view. I like the overhead view. Mines here. We're going to have to take those out, so let's go ahead and blast them. I'm going to switch over to my sniper. I like to keep the sniper selected because it just has a longer range. So it can see things at a further distance and shoot things at a much further distance. So as we turn this corner, let's see what we see. Hmm, nothing so far, just a door. Simple door. Yeah, just walk up to it. All right, this could go horribly bad. Click. All right, well, just a bunch of mines. 
and a false wall. So let's switch off of our precious sniper rifle ammo. Actually, let's just completely switch over to the siege, or to our science, excuse me. And let's just use our weak, weak pistol to take these mines out here. Oh, out of range. And we got a false wall, so let's go ahead and take that out. Switching over to the assault, just because you never know what's going to be on the other side of a wall like this. And indeed, there is an enemy. That red line indicating that he has locked on to me. So next turn, he will fire. So if I move, he's going to shoot at me. This is an invigorated Dumbbot. Dumbbot's a ranged assault bot with questionable aim and an overexcited demeanor. His attack is 200 because, again, of that 10x multiplier. And his attack range is 5, so I'm well within his range. Let's just try to shoot him and kill him. We did it. Excellent. Draw your attention here to the uh, log. As things happen, it can get quick and it can get confusing. So uh, always keep an eye up here. You're going to see we got five credits from killing the dumb bot. You can also see that we attacked the dumb bot for 1800 damage. Combat log is a great thing, as you might imagine in a game like this. Uh, and it is really a necessity because sometimes you're going to walk into a room and your, your exo is just going to melt. Uh, he's just going to die and you're not going to know why, and you're going to be really upset about that. Read all about it right up here. Okay, there's a door here, and there's a false wall here. Let's check the door. Right, we're picking up a possible bot here, an ammo bot. Let's turn the corner here take a shot at him. Easy enough. What else do we have down here? Oh, we've got a nice, nice hallway of death. All right, well, I think this is a good chance to switch over because, wow, that guy is going to destroy me. 3,000 attack. So let's switch to our sniper and let's just make him uh, not a threat at all. No. Finish him all off. I'll just come on, let's, let's wait a turn and let's just watch this guy walk into range of our sniper rifle. There we go. Very nice. Actually, not even using our sniper rifle. I was actually using our standard laser rifle. There you go. So down here in the corner, you're going to have your uh, sort of completion state. And you've got your uh, whistle, which is really nice because it can make bots come to you. Uh, let's just try that. Let's just blow the whistle. Anybody? Anybody hear me? Let's wait a couple turns. No. 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 Okay. Let's keep moving here and see where we're going to end up. Oh, there's a door here. Actually, a locked door. So we're going to switch over to our science because he is going to help us to hack that thing open. We've got nine hacking points. Certainly willing to use one on a door like this. And we got some loot back here. A large loot chest. Okay. So we picked up an inquisitive auxiliary reactor. Looking pretty, pretty interesting there. Let's see gonna be honest I'm not really sure how to see my inventory from out here being that I can't actually equip anything maybe it's not all that important but I wanted to see what the heck that thing did let's zoom out a little bit we'll just take a little bit more of a look at the game here a couple more minutes then we'll be done because this is pretty much what bionic dues is you're gonna continue that march forward to the 50 days and you're gonna keep going and you're gonna keep trying to survive because uh, well, if you don't, they're just going to kill everybody and start over. Because, of course, the city is owned by a faceless future corporation that doesn't really care about your human life, only cares about profits. All right, what can we do here? We got some cover. Let's blow that away. That's going to allow me to see almost all the way down the hall. Anybody want to come out? Let's see. Is my whistle? Come on. Oh, okay, he heard me. Excellent. Let's wait and let's see what he's going to do. Right, he's going to come back here, and he's going to expose himself to a sniper shot. Very nice. And how about our friend up here? Alright, oh, this is going to be a nice tunnel of death. Let's blow our whistle. That's right, you heard me. Death. 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 Very nice. Very nice. 
Okay, find and destroy the reactor. That is our, uh, that's what I was looking for. That's our victory condition. So that is what I'm trying to achieve. We got another guy here. Let's whistle for him. We'll move back a couple of steps so that we're not in his range. And we'll blow him away. Nice. So we have a false wall here. Something's going on in here, I imagine. This might be our reactor, so I think it's worth looking at at least. Wow. But Wow, okay. That really that was wow, that that false wall was you got me false wall. You you got me. This one appears to be the same kind of thing. Hmm. All right, well, let's go through this door and see if we find anything interesting on the uh, other side. Uh, so this is a room full of mechs. Uh, at least two have spotted me and know that I'm here. As soon as I fire my first shot, everybody else is going to know that I'm here. So uh, I'm going to kill this guy, and then maybe I'm going to try a tactical retreat here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Because, again, remember, we have that condition that everybody's weapons are super powerful. All right, and now let's just go back to our kill everybody one by one in this narrow corridor. Oh, are they going to be too smart for that? Tell me you're not too smart for that. Well, you're not too smart for that. And you're not too smart for that. But you're too smart for that. And that is something that I failed to mention about this game. Certain bots really are smarter than others. And you have to kind of figure out how each bot works, figure out what its weakness is, and exploit that to actually play the best game possible. I mean, you don't want to run up against a bot that can kill you at a short distance. You want to kill that thing from a long distance. You want to watch out for bots that have self-destruct, and uh, you want to watch out for bots that can close distance quickly, or, like my sniper, have extremely long ranges. Yeah, it's a lot of strategy, and that's where the tactical part is going to come in. So, uh, actually, this guy's hanging out. You know, I I appreciate what he's doing there, strategically waiting. But uh, I've got a grenade launcher, and I can shoot the floor, and he can die from my splash damage. So there you go. Let's see what else we have going on in here. A couple guys up here. Can we one-shot? We can. Excellent. Now let's track down that reactor so that we can finish this thing off. Ooh, okay. Eagle bot, straight from the window. Eagles are locked into direction they first swoop. Oh, nice. So, uh, yeah, they cannot move once they sort of start in initial direction. Luckily, changing weapons doesn't take a turn because he's got a bead on me. And if I don't kill him, he's going to kill me. Luckily, we managed to finish him off. A little rune on the floor here. Generally, you shoot rune, it's just going to blow up. I mean, explosive rune, certainly. So you have to shoot it with some sort of ballistic. So it's got to be my grenade launcher. It can't be a, uh, a laser rifle. Maybe that's going to hit a bot. Actually, it did. So that's good. In addition to that, let's change to our sniper. Oh, yeah. We got a bunch of guys in here. Let's go ahead and clear them out. Wait. And wait. And death for you. Death for you. Death for you. Oh, you're not smart enough to wait. There you go. Death for you and for you. We've got plenty of ammo left, guys. Keep coming. Here we go. And one more. So now let's move up and see what we've got here. At least one more bot hanging out here. Finish him off nice and easy. Looking for that reactor. Oh my goodness. Okay. Again, an ammo bot pulls a bead on me as soon as I enter the room. That's okay. Because of my laser guns. Again, this uh, eagle bot. Um, I gave him credit earlier for being smart. Turns out he's not smart. He just can't move in any other direction. So he started initially moving down. So all he can do is move down. So he's stuck, basically. So, uh, yeah, let's just lob another grenade in here. Actually, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to switch to my siege. And I'm just going to... Uh, well, there's a, there's a terminal in there. I was going to say, I'm just going to destroy this room with my siege. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do that? Sure, why not? Here we go. 
see what happens. Hey, we cleared it and we left our terminal in place. All right, nobody left in here, that's good. Switch over to our science unit and we're gonna come in here and we are going to hack this terminal. We can use a point, sure. And what happened? It enhances exo attack. So our enhanced attack is now even more enhanced. That's pretty crazy. Let's try to find our reactor. We've got another terminal in here, so we'll definitely hack that as well. Restores Exo Shields. Okay, sure. Another great thing to have. Yikes. All right, a false wall. Uh, this guy, of course, posing no real threat, despite the fact that he, he draws a very intimidating looking bead on me with his laser. Really, he's not threatening me. Oh, another one of these Dick false walls, great. Ah, okay. So I think we're pretty much down to the last few places this could be. So, but before I go through any, any more doors, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna see if this reactor is inside this false wall. Cause if it is, I'm gonna feel like an idiot. I've run around this whole map and all I really had to do was shoot this false wall all right, we got a bat bot. Deadly kinetic burst weapon. Okay, just shoot him and kill him. I don't really care what his gun does, we can just kill him. All right, so our reactor is not here. Let's go ahead and push to the end and let's find our reactor. Where do we want to go first? Might as well go down. Oh, it's a locked door, so this is loot. Hack it. A deadly auxiliary magazine. Excellent. Can always use more ammo for my sniper rifle. Speaking of sniper, let's change over. Let's open this door. I think this is the last door on the map. Let's take a good look. Yes, it is. So our finishing room has to be here or very close. Change over to my sniper rifle. Probably I'm going to get shot in the face when I go in here. Oh, no. Okay. A lot of runes here. None of it really concerning me, because I'm just going to shoot that guy. Alright, let's see. We've got to be in the final push here. Wasted a sniper shot on that uh, piece of cover, but that's kind of okay. Alright, we've got some stuff going on in here. All right, so far they haven't, they haven't heard me. They don't know I'm here. So I can kind of come around the back way. And I can try to make their lives miserable. Let's try the siege. And let's fire our rocket. Hmm, there's no way I can do that from here. Assault, no. Hmm, I mean, I can mess them up. I can't really get the triumphant one shot that I wanted. I'll just go ahead and lob the grenade in. So the ammo bot is aware of our presence. He is going to burst through this cover. And I'm just going to shoot him in the face when he does. Back to our science bot. Let's hack this terminal. Got a few points hanging, over, hanging out here. Disables attacks of all bots in sensor range. I don't know if that will disable him or not. I'm a little unclear on sensor range. I don't know if sensor range is your visible range or like this. You know, I know he's there but I have not yet seen him, so I don't know if that's sensor range or not. Uh, let's go ahead and finish him off, though. Dumbbot, we can finish you with our assault and his handy-dandy laser rifle. Just like that. The emoting death of the robots. Usually funny, there are a few uh, a few sort of meme -y things in there, but uh, all in all, pretty funny. That laser rifle's just doing work. Taking these guys out one by one. Another locked door. I can't resist a locked door. I'm trying to end this thing. Trying to bring this to a conclusion for you guys. But I like loot. Alright. Oh, we got some virus there. So that would give us the ability to augment one of our existing mechs uh, with the ability to, uh, to infect others with a virus. Alright. Let's go to the assaults. Laser rifle. Maybe we got our 
Grenade launcher handy here. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. So this is a turn-based game, so stay calm. Hold up. Survey the room. What can you do? Well, um, 200 attack, 250 attack. Who should I kill first? Good question. Maybe I can just lob a grenade right here? Uh, nope, nope. Okay, so I'm going to get hit by something this turn. Um, I can't do anything to prevent that completely. If I lob a grenade here, I will create a lot of mischief. And I will take a hit from this dumb bot. After that, I will uh, evacuate into this hallway behind me and regroup. All right, so now they all know I'm here and I've taken a nice big hit. So let's go ahead and uh, try to clear out. Why was I programmed to feel pain? Now we're just gonna switch to our sniper and just back off and just start owning fools. Here, I'm gonna whistle. Keep coming, fellas. Just let them walk into my white hot hallway of death. There's a bat bot. I don't really want to initiate. Now, these guys are smart. They're not coming in. And these guys are actually smart. That's not the uh, it's not the eagle bot who just can't move. Let me wait here and see if he will. See. Wow. I I said that guy was smart. He walked on a landmine. Okay. Jesus Christ, the reactor has got to be around here somewhere. Okay, finish that off. For the most part, these games have not gone anywhere near this long. Of course, the time I decide to record a video of this game, uh, it goes on forever. Okay, doors. Huh, all right. Let's just try to see what the hell we can do here. I'm not complaining. I like the game, I, and I don't mind the, the length of this uh, particular mission. What I'm doing here is I'm sitting here watching the timer tick up, and I'm watching the viewership slowly <laughs> decline. <laughs> because people don't want to watch 40-minute videos of me playing games they've never heard of. Alright, a regular door and a regular door. Okay. A switch plate. <laughs> no idea. Okay. Great. So nobody's seen me because of that cover. So I can just leave that room. I don't have to fight all those guys. So I'm not going to. <gasps> it's the reactor. We finally found it. Alright, I'm going to change my siege. And I'm just going to start jacking people. Oh, i got to get around this cover. Hmm. Okay, so this is what I'm going to try. I'm going to try to stealth. Right, so now I'm all cloaked. I'm going to try to walk up here. And I'm just going to start jacking stuff with my missiles. There we go. We've done it. That little orange warp pad on the floor is our exit. So we could hang around. We could go for more points or more credits. Uh, but we're going to get out of here, and we're going to finish up this video. Great work. There we go. So this is our ending screen right here. You're going to get a little bit of narration. And uh, I like that narration. It makes the game move forward nicely. It means I don't have to always read every single thing that's put in front of me, and I can appreciate that. So now I have finished that mission, and uh, therefore I've unlocked two more paths. In addition, you will see I have lost a day here. So there it is. There you have it. The epic battle, the epic first battle here in this match. This is Bionic Dues, guys. This game is coming out on October 8th. I have had an absolute blast with this game. If you're a fan of the turn-based roguelike genre, you're going to love this game. Really give it my highest recommendation. Check it out when it comes out on the 8th. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy.